Hi, I'm Amy Shannon. Some people know me as a friend, some people know me as a family member, some know me as an author or even a book reviewer, but I'm not here to talk about any of that right now. Um, I've been thinking about this for a while and the one thing that bothers me the most is that um, I it, it hurts when I know people um, who have very little food in their home. Um, sometimes people have to choose between paying the bills and putting meals on the table. Um, I know with the unemployment rate skyrocketing, um, there may be people that are out of work that they normally have a job and are able to pay their bills and feed their families. Um, I also know that people that are currently um, receiving SNAP benefits, some of them received extra benefits in April and are supposed to, if they not, haven't already, receive some extra benefits in May. Um, and hopefully that can help some people. Um, hunger is a really, it's a big problem and it's unfortunate that it not only affects our country normally, but um, the hunger rate has probably gone up with the unemployment rate. Kids can't go to school, so they're missing out on um, breakfast and lunch, and sometimes that is the only, those are the only meals that they may have. Um, what I um, wanted to, to do is um, kind of reach out to everyone, um, those who can feed their families and those who are having problems um, putting food on the table. Um, I, um, for those that are having problems putting food on their table, even if you receive SNAP benefits or you're going through the process to do that, SNAP, um, just so you know, it's, it's basically the same thing as food stamps. Um, and it's made to help people, um, you know, feed their families. Um, and really the benefits are supposed to supply, a regular benefit is supposed to supply based on your family type, um, be able to purchase food for at least three weeks to out of the month. Um, it may have changed since then. I hope it has changed. Um, also, um, what is available are food pantries. Now, um, some food pantries that are open normally in your location may change the process of which they give people food. Um, some may have closed or they have different hours. Um, and usually um, counties um, probably have like a, a master list of food pantries in your area. If you know of some, you can always call ahead to find out. Now food pantries are, they supply food um, and they say um, that it should last at least for three days um, for the family. You know, when you go in, you prove your identity, prove your residence, um, tell them how many people are in your family based on adults and children, things like that. Um, and then they'll give you some food. Um, what I'm offering here too is I have been in situations where I needed to rely on food pantries to get me from the end of the month to the next month um, in between getting paid or whatever. Um, it's don't let pride interfere with feeding your family. Um, when you get things from a food pantry, there are some food pantries where you can, um, when you go in, you pick and choose of which foods that um, you want. Some have, um, they're already bagged or boxed and they give them to you based on their requirements for family size, things like that. Most of the time, um, the food is shelf stable, so you get a lot of box goods, a lot of canned goods. Um, 
Sometimes a food pantry has um, refrigeration or freezers so they can provide uh, maybe frozen meats like hamburger or hot dogs or even chicken, other things like that. Um, sometimes they get a rare item and they give it to who they think may need it the most. Um, some have refrigerators where they um, provide milk or cheese or um, eggs, things like that. Um, not all food pantries have that, um, f those facilities where they are able to do that. I know now that a lot of food, food pantries, at least in my local area, have been changing how you pick up food and things like that. Um, so follow their rules, you know, stay safe and stay smart. Um, one thing that I know too, and it's, you look at the canned goods and you look at the box goods and you try to figure out what are you going to do with it? Or especially if this is something new to you where you're, maybe you buy more fresh vegetables than canned vegetables, or you buy jar sauce instead of um, canned tomato sauce. Um, you may not even put um, canned chicken breast on your um, your grocery list normally. Um, so what I'm what I like to um, say is that there are a lot of things that you can do with the um, canned goods that you get. Um, if you get beans, you can um, kind of grind them up and mix them in with hamburger. Um, and it will extend the, um, the size of your hamburger. So, um, you know, you can make patties or, um, you know, meatloaf, things like that. It kind of, it, you know, it um, supplements and gives you more body to the meat and it's good for you as well. Um, one of the things I like to do with um, like canned peaches, I drain them. Um, I pour um, the peaches on the bottom of a baking pan and sometimes I just top it off with a um, oatmeal um, and um, brown sugar crumble and I bake it in the oven for 20 minutes and it's kind of like a peach cobbler kind of crumble thing um, and it comes out really well. Um, you can also heat up the peaches, um, kind of caramelize them and put them over ice cream. Um, if you get bread, um, a lot of times you'll get bread that is um, not sliced. Um, bread will freeze for uh, quite a while. Um, if you get baked goods, um, some you'll be able to freeze, some you should eat right away. Um, you may get canned tuna. There's a lot of things you can do with tuna. Um, you can um, make tuna salad, um, tuna melts. Um, which is similar to a grilled cheese, except it's grilled cheese with tuna on it. Um, and make however you want. Um, if you get bread that you wouldn't normally eat, um, you can break it up and cut them up and, and bake it and make croutons. Or you can grind it and use, um, use it for breadcrumbs. And you can put them in a plastic bag and freeze them. And anytime you need breadcrumbs, they're right there. Um, it's a great, really great coating. You add some seasoning to it and then you um, put it on chicken um, and bake it. It's, um, it comes out really well. Um, sometimes I use the canned um, chicken breast to extend um, my chicken when I'm trying to make like quesadillas because if you mix it in um, with regular chicken, um, you really can't tell the difference, especially adding seasoning and um, things like that. So there are a lot of different things that you can do with canned food. Um, canned spaghetti sauce, you know, it's it's different. Um, you cook it, cook it for a little while, add your own f seasonings to it, and then you can get rid of the, um, sometimes they have like the, it, you can taste the can kind of flavor, but if you cook it down and add different seasonings to it, you know, whatever you like, um, the can taste goes away. Um, so I'm hoping that some of these ideas are helpful. If you are in a situation and you have some food that you're not sure exactly what to do with or how to doctor it up to maybe fit your taste, 
um, you can uh, comment under here and, and ask me um, for some suggestions. I would be happy to do that. If you are in a place where you need food, you know, it, it's okay to ask for help. If you are on unemployment or you're waiting for unemployment, don't hesitate to apply for SNAP benefits. Um, it's, it's not a handout. It's just to help you get so you can get back on your feet, back to work or whatever's going to happen. This pandemic has made a lot of people suffer, not just from the disease and not just the economy, but individual people, um, especially going hungry. Um, you don't hear about the people that are starving. Um, I know school districts are making efforts to provide lunches or breakfasts to kids in their district. Um, and there are, you know, Meals on Wheels programs that help deliver food to those that are normally homebound or um, they need assistance in some way. You know, they could be disabled or elderly and they have no one else. If you know someone that lives alone, you know, you might want to just pick up the phone and ask them if they, if they have plenty of food. Um, I call my dad every couple days, see if there's anything that he needs at the grocery store, and then I pick it up for him. Um, he's 70, so I don't really, he doesn't really need to be going to the stores or going out unless he absolutely has to. Um, if you're in a situation where everything is good, you know, you're, you're feeding your family, um, maybe you're working from home, you're doing some homeschool, um, the only thing different is that you're working at home and not the office, um, so you didn't have to worry about layoffs or going to the grocery store and picking up food. Um, some grocery stores, um, and I've seen them in my local area, they have a box where you can donate to local food pantries. Um, Sometimes you can donate directly to the food pantries of your choice. Um, you may want to call ahead and ask them what kind of food they're really looking at. I mean, sometimes they may get an abundance of like macaroni and cheese in the box, but you know, maybe they need soup or um, perishable goods or frozen food. So it's always good to do that. And you know, check on your neighbors, um, people that you know. You know, make sure that um, they're, they're getting food. It would be nice for some people to have a meal and hopefully more than one meal a day. So that's just me. You know, I've had ups and downs in my life and hardships. I've never had to, um, you know, figure out where my next meal was coming from. Um, I learned a lot of how to be creative um, with food and, you know, some things you might not, I mean, I'm not a big vegetable out of the can. I prefer fresh or sometimes frozen, um, but if canned is all I have, then I have to make do with, with what I have. Um, and there are ways to just give it a little um, for something. So. Um, this is just me. If you need suggestions, again, like I said, for food or anything, um, and what to do with certain things, that just makes it different. Um, you know, feel free to comment or ask questions. You can email me directly at amyshan75 at gmail.com, and um, maybe I can help you out in some way. I just hope that I can give some ideas um, and and I do implore you if you're able to even if it's just a can or a box of food to donate to your local food pantry or even provide your neighbor with something uh, please do the last thing that we need to worry about in this day and age is where our next meal is coming from so thank you, and if you know anyone who may benefit from this video, feel free to um, share it. Um, 
I want to do something to help people in some way. Um, it makes me feel good to help others. And this is something that I don't normally share. You know, I, I just, you know, I'm a mom. I'm a single mother. I've been that for 15 years. And I... You know, I've gotten creative with food and having boys with different ideas of what they think their meals are. So um, I've been a bit creative and um, if there's anything that I can do, um, thank you. You know, I, I thank you for listening. I thank you for watching. Um, and this hunger also, um, food pantries do accept like pet food, things like that. I know animal shelters, um, will too. Um, but yeah, food pantries will also accept, you know, pet food, wet or dry, um, even toiletries, toilet paper, Kleenex, um, personal care items, shampoos, soaps, things like that. So, um. If you can give, please do. If you need it, don't hesitate to find a local food pantry in your area and follow their instructions and get some food on your table. Uh, thank you. This has been Amy Shannon, and I hope this video has helped someone in some way. Thank you.